well, after our big cold snap, we're warming up some. The uh, weather's up in the mid 50s right now. We got rain coming, um, but I had bees come in my shop and visit me, and realized it was warm and I needed to take a sweater off, and that I should probably get out here and inspect a few. Um, I've got some of them obviously pretty strong. Bees coming in and out, but a couple things I want to do. I want to check my entrances. Um, because if we had a, quite a large die-off, this one's opened up some, but if we had a large die-off with that cold, um, this can become plugged full of bees and they can't get in and out of it. Now, I did add an extra upper entrance um, in these that I was intending to cover, but there's just enough room there for a couple bees to come in and out and for them to get some air. So, I also have some that somehow or another are on my old pallets with bottom boards. So I need to get those moved on to a regular pallet today. Um, so we're going to see what we got. If they're all in the upper box, it'll make it pretty darn easy. Um, otherwise, I'll have to actually move some frames over. So we'll get you set up here and we'll throw a little smoke at them and see what happens. So my intent is to take the frames out of the bottom of this one put them in the bottom of the one corresponding on the other pallet and then drop their top box back on them there are a few bees moving in and out of this one so we will uh, get a chance to see what's going on Still a lot of sugar in the top. Don't see any bees in the bottom box at all. See if there's anything, any resources or anything else in it. God, dang it. I hate it when they're all swole up like this. So what we'll be able to do with this one is just drop the whole box on there. There's no bees in the bottom, no reason to uh, put it on there right now. So we're boosted into a single box. Now we'll see if there's anything alive inside. Yeah, there's a nice cluster in there. These girls should be about ready to get some pollen, they should be ready to start uh, growing. So, I'll probably try to get some pollen mix in the next day or so. Get some patties on them. remember to change the number over that I have on it a lot of them I've got good good uh, tags on them that means I need a screwdriver to transfer it um, this one was just written on it so I wrote it over there um, anyway that's kind of a pain sometimes to remember to do that all right well I'm going to uh, take a look at a few more here get them moved over and then we'll do some in investigations under the under the feeders all right we got these switched over um, a couple of them were just in their top box so they just went down with that um, and that's fine there were you know six six good frames of brood up in that one with uh, in the top so I'll just drop them down there and leave them like that for now now when I get ready to go to California They'll need another box under them, but it'll be simple enough to just pick it up, put it under them, and go. Um, won't have to be a lot of screwing around, going in them, and moving any frames around. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take a look under some of these here just to see, evaluate, see what they're looking like. So we'll take a look under the 
under the feeder boxes that I put on. Now these were already in single boxes when I came through and did it, so I took them, took it out and just put one. So I've got three and a half frames of bees in that one. They're all clustered over on that side. They are working into the sugar. They've eaten their hole clear up through through there into it. So they're getting to it. Still a little powdery it looks like. That one's pretty good. We'll turn around here and see if we can see what's in this bigger one. A very small cluster way over on one side. Three frames of bees. Again, they're getting through it and eating the sugar. That's what I need. I need to get some pollen on these girls. Um, but I'm certain that a number of these wouldn't be here at all without these boxes and lids on top that kept them warmer. Let's take a quick turn over here and see. This one's down below too. sugar on the frame so they're eating it that's what they need they've got food now if we just keep from getting down into sub-zero temperatures um, that would be good so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at a few more of these and just label the fronts um, as to what I'm seeing for numbers so I can decide whether uh, I want to come in and, and you know condense a few of them or what right now so um, we're gonna have another nice day warmer day on Sunday so it gives me time to get Paul and Patty's built and ready to put on and, and decide whether to combine some so here's another one it's small a couple frames look these girls have gotten right up into the sugar man they're all after that so that uh, is exciting. I'm glad I put it on there. Um, it's what a lot of them needed. So we'll keep looking. Now well, I got through them all. So you can see I got a couple of them here that just have two frames of bees in them. I got sixes, eights, five, eight, one, seven. So they're kind of all over the board. Uh, another two. I found a couple of the X. X is a dead out. It's gone. That one I forgot to write it on. I got a five, a 10, eight, five. So, and this is, you know, my uh, analysis of what I see when I pop it open. I'm not staying in there very long. Just enough to see what kind of cluster I've got. Some of them have bees flying. Some of them the clusters broke up a lot further, some they're tighter. Um, so it's just kind of an arbitrary number, not arbitrary, but it's a, it's a number that is gonna be fairly consistent through them as I graded them when I saw them. Um, whether it's exactly right on it, it's not important. So uh, some of these I will probably get back to. Uh -huh. um, the fives, I'll, I'll get some pollen on them, see where they go. Uh, the twos and some of the ones, they're, they're not going to make it um, the way they sit. That just isn't going to happen. So I'll go back through and analyze my queens, um, which ones were the best, which ones are old, um, and make my choices as to who I weed out and who I combine. Um, I may put a few of them in some, some of my really smaller boxes. Um, I've got some uh, two framers. They're a four. They're, they're a 10 frame box that's broke into four sections. And I may stick a few of the queens in there just to see if they'll pull through and make it. Um, they're darn sure not gonna make it in a double deep with two frames of bees. So we're gonna have to make some, make some adjustments to them. Um, and some of these just need reduced down. Um, some of the, the fours and fives that just need to be in a single box and not a double. Um, 
a lot of them weren't in the bottom box to make it easy just drop the top box down but I, I don't have time to get that done today I just needed to get done what I can so anyway gonna get stuff picked out of here I got a load on for the dump and a bunch of things to do this afternoon rabbit feed to get so anyway we'll uh, get back after my rest of my day